What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in today. Now I've just filmed, I've just, I've just finished filming the uh, fighter race playing cards, and now we'll be going on to the union. Now, before we get into reviewing the deck, I just want to say thank you for 15 subscribers. I just realized that after filming the fighter race um, playing cards, that I, I don't believe I'll, I don't believe I'll be able to say thank you for uh, 15 subscribers. So I really appreciate you guys. Because of 15 subscribers, I will solve another. Uh, I will do another puzzle video. Will be coming out very soon, very shortly. I just have to film it, and also I will be giving out another video for some exciting news for this summer and what you can expect me to happen during the summertime. Um, but enough about that. Let's get into reviewing the Union playing cards. So here we have the Union playing cards. Um, the first thing I'll be drawn to your attention is obviously the light reflecting off. Now the design is really cool. Quite luxury. They're very luxurious playing cards right now. Um, now, for the first thing, you'll see a shield um, with the United States flag with the Union going through it with a sword and some leaves. I really like the way they add that together. It looks really cool. Then you move to the side, United States flag, and then in the back, which is which I really like, it's the United the, the uh, bald eagle with the United States flag, a sword, and like you have an arrow. Really cool. I really like the way it looks. And from the top, you have the um, stars, and even the like this right here looks really nice. It's made by there, made by Theory Eleven. You open them up, you get chain. You see that chains are being broken. I think, and it says "Live Free." Now, what this means is, because the Union was um, at war against the Confederates who enslaved the Black people, so I'm thinking is when it says "Live Free" or by broken chain, broken chains, it means people are no longer slaves. So that's why I think it by it means like like a symbolic gesture to for what the Union stood for. I think that is a really cool reference. Okay, we open them up. Um, first off, I do think the back design is a little like fainted away, like it kind of it looks a little dull by colors um, compared to other cards that I've seen. Like they just like lack color compared to like their other playing cards. They, they just like I think this like compared to the tuck case. Let me see. It lacks color um, compared to the Tuckeys. You can obviously see how like the difference between it. So this one seems a little bit more dull. Well, this looks very shiny, obviously. So I think that's the only thing it lacks in the back design. Um, however, the cards themselves um, are very cool. With the King of Hearts, uh, Queen of Hearts, Jack of Hearts, and let's see, we got the two Jokers. They are turkeys. <laughs> I like turkeys. The Ace of Spades is very cool, however. I love the Ace of Spades thing with the, the eagle making up the spades with the United States flag. I like that a lot. And it says American Mage, American Made, which is very true since the 311 makes, uh, is made, uh, they make American playing cards. Well, not American playing cards, but they are founded in America. And here we have the Jack of Diamonds, Queen of Diamonds, and hold on, let me check something real quick. I can't, okay, never mind. And overall, really cool deck. I like the way I like the core cards. How like they're actually like very. It took time to create something different compared to like the bicycle decks where all their core cards are the same. So I can really overall their quick videos. Um, but again, these are really cool playing cards. I really like them a lot. And I think what would have been a really cool idea is if they could have created like a, a package deal. Basically, you getting the Union playing cards and the Confederate playing cards. And now I'm saying now why you're probably wondering why I'm saying this is because the Confederates and the Union were at war. Dropped them. Um, so I thought it would be really cool if they can give us both uh, playing cards with their each sort of designs. I thought that would be really cool for not only like a historic, um, like they could say like a historic uh, bundle, but I think it'd be really cool having like the Union and the Confederate deck um, and be able to buy them all at once. Now the feel of these playing cards is. I think they feel a little stiff but overall great quality probably because i don't use 311 decks often i'm used to bicycle but still they feel really good and i think the only thing i don't like about these is the dullness of the cards themselves other than that i think they're a really good deck highly suggest you buy them and let's go out to the outro so again, I just finished reviewing the Union deck. I think it's a really cool deck. Highly like, highly recommend it. Um, and again, they are made by Theory Eleven. Go check them out. They create a bunch of really cool, luxurious playing cards. Now again, thank you for 15 subscribers. I really appreciate it. I've been dying to get hit that number 15. So again, thank you all of you who are subscribing. Give yourself a pat on the back. 
you know, like a celebration, you know, you know, bring out the champagne if you're of age. I am not of age, so I'll bring out some root beer. Um, but again, thank you all so much. Hope to see you guys again, and have a great week.